Hi, this is Bill K4FX, and I want to give you a little closer look at my LP100A digital watt meter from Telepost. Uh, this is a high accuracy digital watt meter designed by Larry Phipps of Telepost. It comes both fully assembled and in kit form. This particular unit has the optional daughter board, which allows for dual couplers to be connected simultaneously, which makes for seamless SO2R operation uh, in the auto sense mode, or when two radios happen to have separate HF and 6 meter outputs. The accuracy of this meter is 3%, pretty much making it the industry standard. The calibration of the kit is very straightforward, although Telepost does offer free calibration for uh, just paying the shipping, uh, round-trip shipping on all the kits they sell. After building this kit, I'd have to say it's one of the more enjoyable ones I've ever built due to the high quality of materials used. Uh, I would say the difficulty would be somewhere on the low end of the intermediate scale for all you new kit builders out there. The unit also has an alarm which has a relay to protect external devices such as linear amplifiers from unexpected changes in SWR. A very, very handy feature. In fact, that was one of the features that got me the uh, meter in the first place. I had a very expensive 8877 tube I was concerned about. And it also has an RS-232 which allows for it to be interfaced to the uh, personal computer with the uh, free Windows software that's included, you can uh, control every function via the PC as well as monitor power levels. We have uh, basic simple operation. There's only three buttons as well as on off button on the front. And this is our mode. Basically, we change from peak, indicated by the uppercase W, to tune, indicated by the T. This gives a real-time view of the bar graph and the number graph to tune antenna tuners and linears. Uh, one more punch puts us in lowercase w, which is average. And if we send some w's in average, or some v's rather, you can see the readings pretty much like what you would expect. Go to a peak reading, and we saw a little bit of a surge there, which the meter will detect. And Larry explains that a little bit more fully in the uh, manual. And we have our alarm mode over here, and we can change the levels by simply pushing the button and it steps through the uh, levels that are coded into the uh, firmware and there's one level, the uh, user level, which is uh, adjustable by the, uh, by the user. But the 1.5, the 2.0, the 2.5, and the 3.0, they're, uh, they're in the firmware. They're, uh, they're, they're written in stone, so to speak. We have our mode over here. We can change phase. We can go to phase. We can go to uh, dbs we can uh, go back to the watt meter swr scale which is where the normal operator is going to keep it most of the time it's a very very nice unit uh not really cheap but um you get what you pay for these days this is a this is an instrument this isn't a toy i would highly recommend it if you want a beautiful watt meter that's going to give you years of uh of great operation with great support from the people who built it and the people who know it you need to look at the lp 100a from larry at telepost Thank you very much. This is K4FX, and we'll see you down the band.